First memory of riding. Um, well, I used to go with my mom to the ring, uh, like a community ring down the street from our house in LA, and uh, I would ride a horse called Tabasco, and she would put me on bareback. And I was like, apparently, a very good kid until I had to leave the barn, and I would throw a tantrum and like roll around in the dirt. Uh, so I guess I was sold early. My international debut was in Frankfurt, uh, 2009, and I was completely blown away because I had ridden a lot around the U.S. and Canada, and, well, I guess Canada's an international debut, but my first really, truly international um, was in the European Young Riders, uh, or European Young Masters Tour, and I was just blown away by how many people were there and what a big deal they made out of the whole thing. And I knew that I'd had to, I had to step it up, that, that these riders that were my age were, were way ahead of me, <laughs> so. What is your greatest career moment? Definitely Lausanne. Um, that was for sure the highlight. I, uh, I wasn't expecting it and I don't think anybody else was, so it was really inspiring to, to see that I could compete against the top riders and their top horses and it it really made me believe that my goals and dreams for the sport are possible so that'll go down in the in the history books for my career <laughs> whether it's through my face or through my words like you will know <laughs> what I'm I think thinking. honestly it's a good quality though it does get you yeah. in trouble like I've gotten in trouble with it but I think it's a good quality anyway I mean It'll if you either you will either bottle it up or it'll come out like as a disaster later. So just smile right off the bat. Be honest. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Amen, yeah. sister. Yeah. Got blurred lines in the yeah, I know, yeah. right? Lucy's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that I have a specific mentor, but um, both my parents have been super supportive uh, of me and guided me through the sport. I would say that my trainer Marcus has also. Um, been a rock in my career for the last five or so years and I also draw a lot of influence from other athletes um, particularly in individual sports like tennis and skiing and golf um, reading stuff about them and what they think and how they treat their their sport mentally and also physically. If you could ride any other international horse who would it be? Hmm. That's a tough question. Um, I think Big Star, probably. Big Star is, uh, is just incredible to watch and looks like something else to ride. Looking good, dude. <laughs> I would say I really admire Laura Kraut. I think she's um, an incredible team player and has always been super supportive of me. Uh, and she she works super hard and can literally ride anything, so I have a lot of respect for her. I love and hate the fact that it's so unpredictable working with horses. Every day is a new experience. You're only as good as your last round, in my mind. Um, so it really keeps you on your toes, always fighting and always working. There's always something more to learn and gain. Uh, I mean, I believe it's the highest honor. Um, team competitions are really special, especially for riders because we don't often get to compete on a team. And I grew up playing soccer and doing a lot of team sports. So that's one aspect I sometimes miss about riding. Um, and to be together with uh, your peers uh, competing for your country is really inspiring. If you could do anything else in the world, what would it be? Um, I would be, it fluctuates between being an architect and being a uh, screenwriter slash director, but um, I'm going to try to do both. So. <laughs>